It's 24 down to 16. BattleBots applications everywhere and a hack space like no other all this week in Robot Combat. Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Thank you once again for joining me. Plenty of news to go through this week, including many, many applications for BattleBots that I've had to try and sift through to make sure that they're real. Always check your sources. We'll, we'll get into that more in just a minute. Without further ado, let's begin. Yes, the round of 32 concluded this week with matches between the likes of Fusion and Tantrum, Sawblaze and Kraken, Scorpius Witch Doctor, etc, etc. The list goes on. Many excellent back and forth fights this week between lots of very good robots. Some highlights for me included Shatter vs Lockjaw, Mammoth vs Copperhead was a superb fight and excellent outcome, I think. If you haven't already checked out the episode, then make sure to go and watch episode 13 is this week. And it is the round of 16, so be sure to be caught up before that debuts. Now, teams that are applying for next season, this list is long and arduous and it's been a lot of work to collate it all. But first up, we get a first look at Mantasaur, what is going to be built from the team that brought us Sharko in the past, this beautiful drum spinner manta ray thing. Meanwhile, over in the UK, everybody's been applying. We saw a few weeks ago the Mingo team applying. They released a first image of the silhouette of the new version of Mingo, looking very cool indeed. Looking forward to seeing what that looks like when it's fully unveiled. Meanwhile, this robot appeared during the week and uh, they teased us with, Ooh, what could this possibly be? And then revealed what this is. This is Sooth Slayer. Very exciting indeed as well. Jackpot. Hope to return as well with a newly cadded version. They've gone full send with their one arm bandit. Now with two arm bandits, that's very interesting to see, but I do believe it's a part of their stream mix, so makes a lot of sense. Swashbucklers beware as the Kraken has been released once again, applying for the next season of BattleBots. This one comes in literally as I was about to press export on the video, so you get this one pretty fresh off the press. Enjoy that. Next we have Mad Dog, and I genuinely cannot remember where we found this, but it appeared out of nowhere. It is a Kettering University entry that's hoped to be in this season of BattleBots. It's sort of like Hydra and Sub-Zero had a little baby. The King Bee team from Robot Wars have applied for BattleBots as well. Team Sabotage are hopefully bringing a robot to the next season. Simon Harris and Jamie McCarg of Coyote. Harry Tugwell of Hobgoblin will come together to make something new, very exciting. Meanwhile, Team Kingpin have applied for BattleBots again. Never in a million years expected to see this, but the Kingpin team who brought Kingpin to BattleBots 2019 have applied once again to compete in 2021. Look out to see if they get in. And just because so many teams applied, we decided to jump on the bandwagon at a group where we pretend to be the BattleBots live audience. Yes, we might have made a few fake applications. If you want more information on that, go and follow a group where we pretend to be the BattleBots live audience to see what hijinks we got up to. They got all the way to Greg Munson apparently, so that's fun. Which is why it's important to always check your sources on which robots are actually in the series or not. It's very easy for people to make stuff up, as we've proven. Now, Team Witch Doctor have put a load of parts of Witch Doctor up for sale on eBay. If you want these, make sure to go and check out the Facebook page of Team Witch Doctor there to find the link to the eBay page to find all of the wonderful items on sale. Also, if you go to hypershock.tv, there are eBay listings up there as well for parts of Hypershock, including two tyres and the big front plough. These run out within the next 24 hours at time of recording, so do be sure to go and check them out if you are really eager to get your hands on a bit of Hypershock. This weekend has seen the Bristol Bot Builders do a virtual hack space. Roboteers are on hand to give you advice and also show off what they have been up to with builds as well, as well as just building on stream, showing off what they have. It will be going on until the end of today, so if you have missed it so far, like I have because I've been busy, do go and check it out later on today. I hope to as well. And lastly, I don't often cover the topic of fan-made robot wars on the news because it's fan-made robot wars at the end of the day, it's not the biggest story. However, it's not every day that one of the legends of fan-made robot wars returns to do an anniversary series. Mastrath's Robot Wars will be returning, series 7 is in production now. Very exciting indeed. 
And that's just about all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Be sure to go and check out World of Woodrow over on Facebook for links to all of this week's stories and for any upcoming news that you may wish to go and find as well. Thank you all for watching and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.